Happy Tuesday, April 16th. Welcome to MLB Prop Picks powered by the Bat. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Curdy. Happy Tuesday to you, DC. How are we doing today, pal? Doing pretty well. Um, you know, had a good week last week. You know, kind of getting on a little bit of a roll now, which is nice. Have a few few out there today that look good. So, so yeah, feeling good. And as we hit a social play last week, last Friday, and Tanner Houck under strikeouts it's always a good reminder to follow the covers yeah. twitter covers x social page because i mean once those lineups come out there's there can be pretty big swings on on k percentages uh, and outs so always good to pay attention to it uh don't forget to hit that like button subscribe welcome everybody there in the chat thanks for joining us here tuesday morning we are here every tuesday wednesday friday at 9 30 dropping releases from Derek's numbers and moving markets as we have all year. And as we get to it, don't forget, you can find these projections as well. Head over to cover site, hit the MLB tab, and go find player prop projections. These are all powered by Derek's numbers as well. Find the five-star plays. Go in, go out. Save yourself some time because if Derek's taught me one thing in betting, saving yourself time is probably the most advantageous thing you can do as a better, as you can scroll through all the projections there. It is really nice, Derek, when you just, when you trust the numbers and you can just wake up, hit the numbers and move on with your day, as opposed to sitting there and just like, let me go through, let's see who's in. So always appreciative when someone else is doing the work for you. This is the release procedure. Let's get right to it because things are moving as they always do around this time. We'll tell you what book has the best number, hopefully some secondary books that we can get to. Give you some time, log on to that. Then we'll tell you the game in question. Then we'll tell you the prop market. Then we'll tell you the team, the player, and then the over, the under. No psych outs, just straight bets there. So in saying that, I believe we have a four-pack. Derek, are we ready? I'm ready. All right, fantastic. I love this play, and so did my pockets last week. Release number one, we are at DraftKings. Secondary books include Bet365, Caesars, ESPN, everything pretty much, but this one is moving so head over to DraftKings for your best number right now. Game in question, I believe it's a 640 start. San Diego at Milwaukee. Prop market pitcher strikeouts. Lovely. For release number one, Tuesday, April 16th. Let's go. Wade Miley, under 2.5 Ks, plus 135. Lefty, Wade Miley, under 2.5 Ks, plus 135. Let us know in the chat if you're seeing a different number somewhere else, where you're betting it, and if it's moving. Derek, we had him at 3.5, even money last week. That might have been the gift of the century <laughs> on that leash. 53 pitches, 4 innings, 0 strikeouts from the pitch-to-contact veteran who... It's what he does. Like, he can get deep, but, like, he, he's never – he's not a 95-pitch guy, and he certainly won't be today. Yeah, exactly. Uh, before last start, he said, you know, I think I can go 75 or 80 pitches, and that wasn't the case. Like, he was <laughs> done after 52. Um, I think that's probably best-case scenario for him today, 75 or 80 pitches. I think the bat's projecting 75 here, uh, and it's possible he ends up in the 50s again or at 65 or something like that because, I mean, if he threw 52 – you know, building off of that is like mid to high 60s. It uh, could be more. Uh, I'm being a little more aggressive with it. But even with that, at 75 pitches, he's projecting for two and a half Ks. Uh, so we have basically a coin flip at plus 135 for a low K pitcher against a low K offense. The biggest wild card in this is that Angel Hernandez is the umpire today. <laughs> I, I, have, I have that in my notes. Which uh, technically he leans a little bit more towards the hitter side, which is good, but there's always the chance that he just does something wild and just gives a free K to somebody. Um, and uh, we don't know because it's Angel Hernandez and he does that. So uh, still projects well, though. This line has been moving down quickly. 
Um, I think last I checked, Pinnacle was like around even money now. So, uh, yeah, this is going to move. Two and a half is not a big number to get over, but low K pitcher, low K offense, short leash. Um, you know, I think we're I think we're okay on this. And then um, when we're looking at, I don't know, nerdy numbers when we're talking about low numbers like two and a half, like when you're projecting like two point five, like. Cause you can only go so low. So like that 2.5 really kind of holds a little more value than say a 5.5 on the dot. No. Right. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. So let's go there. Zero K's last start. Uh, I'll get to Angel Hernandez in another play that we have in that game and try to squash the myth that everyone just obviously is inconsistent, but we'll get to it. So let's get to a uh, second release here. DraftKings. I believe everything's going at DraftKings today. Pittsburgh, Mets, there we go, head over there, prop market, as producer Mick puts up, hitter strikeouts, okay, let's see. Oh, producer Mick is just so great on the Zoom, and I would struggle for days trying to find that number. Still there. Let's go. Release number two, Pittsburgh's Edward. I, I keep saying Olivieres, but it's not. It's Oliveras under 0 0.5, hitter strikeouts plus 165. Oliveras under 0 0.5, hitter strikeouts plus 165. We got him on Friday, plus 195 for a winner. And despite the market correction to plus 165, 30 points, 36% pinch hit risk, still plenty of value here uh, on the Pittsburgh hitter, Derek? Yep, 195 we would certainly prefer again, but uh, uh, 165, oh shoot, I think MGM might even have 170 um, if anyone wants to check that out. But uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, it's gone now. <laughs> it's gone now. Uh, it's a good play. He's got a high pinch hit risk. He's facing Jose Quintana, who is... Uh, not an especially high strikeout lefty. Uh, once the bullpen comes in, he might be gone. Uh, not a big strikeout guy to begin with. So yeah, this is this is kind of the same play as the other day at a slightly worse number, but it's still fine. Yeah, 15-point move on the reopen there from DraftKings. Uh, and I mean, it, you like to see that. You like to trust your numbers and see that even with a market correction, you're still ahead of the market itself. So yeah. we'll see that, continue to see that one until, uh, I don't know, we, we hit that break even point where probably it's, we're, we're still not there. So even, I imagine there's still even a little value at plus 150, but 36% uh, pinch hit risk uh, goes obviously to Jose Quintana, who as the lefty just, just doesn't get deep. He doesn't beat people and he, he, he needs a lot of pitches. He, he's one of my favorite to bet against. It looks right. like a few people in chat are mentioning some other books that have this market. Bet 99, SIA. I don't have them in my state. I think those are Canadian books maybe, but it's nice that there are some others that have this. Yes, SIA, I believe, same numbers as MGM. So, yeah, okay. uh, Entain. So that's, that, that's where that one is. So they'll have the exact same number as MGM. Uh, so we got two in the book. Let's get to the other one. As I need to refresh my background there, it will come back. Uh, let's go. DraftKings again. Secondary book, MGM, and everything that everybody just said there in the chat, the other Canadian books as well. Uh, let's go. San Diego, Milwaukee, hitter strikeouts again. Good to see Mike Taylor back this year. Hello, Mike Taylor. Technics as well. Insight. Insight's uh, always on my Discord too. He's... Uh, I like when people just speak logically and not like, oh no, this is, we're going to lose this play. Like, uh, insights, insights, one of those guys who's uh, should be a good, better long term with the way he holds it together. All right, let's go. Release number three. Get this first name right, Josh. Get this first name right. A guy, a guy Rosario. Maybe Eggy Rosario. Eggy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rosario under 0 0.5 hitter strikeouts. Let's go. Plus 140. Rosario. Under 0 0.5 hitter strikeouts, plus 140. When we're looking at this number and we look at the number that uh, Oliveris just moved to, there's a big difference in 
probably projected plate appearances between the two guys. When this guy hasn't seen more than three at-bats in any game, he's a right-handed hitter facing a short leash lefty in Miley, who we just said that's probably not going to go deep and is somewhere up around 60% for pitch hit today. Yeah, it sets up really nicely for him here. Yeah, it's... yeah the, the bat projection for 2.76 plate appearances here. Whoa. Like, There's a real chance he's two and done. He gets two against Miley and then gets pinch hit for and doesn't strike out against Miley. Um, so that that's really what we're hoping for here. Um, yeah. I mean, he's a right-hander facing a, a low K lefty. As soon as a righty comes out of the bullpen, he's probably gone. And uh, we're getting it at plus plus one forty, which is really nice. Yeah. Find those guys. Uh, your projection nailed it again yesterday with Manuel Margot. You're like, he's hitting in the leadoff spot. You're a little worried that he'll stay there and face the righty. I think. I think that's the the split that takes him out. But uh, yeah, the opposite hand, uh, the same hand pitcher came in and he was out of that leadoff spot after three at bats. So always good to follow those guys that just they just don't give him the shot at facing uh, their struggling side of pitching. So there's Rosero under 0 0.5 hitter case for release number three. Last one, release four, Tuesday. April 16th. Let's get right to it. Uh, yes, one more. Another market that we have. I don't believe we've hit yet, but let's get to it. San Francisco, Miami. We are also at DraftKings for this one as well. MGM secondary books. Let's go. Producer Mick saying, like that stream. Seeing about a thousand eyes here live on my side. Let's see as many likes there if you're on the YouTube stream now. If you're on the covers or my, or Derek's live. I don't know if we have Derek's live, but uh, on Twitter, hit that like button as well. Let's go. Last one. San Francisco, Miami. Hitter walks. Hitter walks. I don't know if we hit this one very much, but looking at this number, for a guy who could see five plate appearances, that's uh, that's the number you're playing, right? Like, Yeah. <laughs> it, I, I Obviously, it's priced in like his walk percentage versus pitcher walk percentage. Like that's priced in, but what's usually not priced in is the potential for five at bat. So let's let's get right to it. Oh uh, yes, still there for release number four, final one today. Let's go, Miami's Luis Sarayas over zero point five walks plus two sixty five. Over zero point five walks plus two sixty five. Uh, I'm assuming this will this will move about 20 points if the other ones are moving about 15 points right off the bat. Uh, low liquidity market immediately. Not a lot of people betting this. But what's the projection here? Uh, obviously, Jordan Hicks isn't going to be like a 14 to 3 K to walk ratio starting pitcher when he was like a one to one basically as a reliever. Do you see a little regression from uh, from Jordan Hicks? You kind of have to think so. Like he hasn't really walked anybody this year. But historically, he's been a guy with control issues, and now he's in the rotation, so he should he should be walking guys. You know, it's it's a small sample so far this year, so we're expecting some regression for him. Uh, like you said, Arias potential to get five plate appearances here. The bat is projecting 0.49, which is about a forty percent chance of hitting this. So, you know, gonna lose more often than not, but when it wins, we get paid out. Real nice on it. So plus two sixty five on a forty percent shot is is very good. Yeah, happy happy to take that. And if you're in the chat there and you're looking at another book, let us know if your other books have these markets as well as we continue to look at uh, inefficient niche markets across the board. Uh, let's let's do a quick recap here. As we know, I got uh, my NHL props coming up at 10. We have NBA prop picks powered by EV Analytics with John and Adam at 10.30. So we got a big list of shows coming up. Producer Mix busy. Let's do the recap. Wade Miley under 2.5 case plus 135. Uh, Edward Oliveras under 0 0.5 hitter case plus 165. Back to oh, e guy Rosario under 0 0.5 hitter case. We saw that one move like 20 points. That was a... That was a great number at plus 140 for a guy who should likely vary. The coin flip at two two plate appearances is not something that you can usually get. And Luis Reyes, un, uh, sorry, over 0 0.5 walks at plus 265. Great number there. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. We'll get everybody on the way. Appreciate everybody there in the chat. 1,100 people there. See you back here Wednesday, tomorrow.
Same time, 9.30, and then back again Friday. So thanks to everybody. Thanks to Derek. Thanks to Producer Mick. See you back here tomorrow, 9.30.